My brother punched me when he learned that I am marrying my brother's ex-wife and considering adopting his child after he abandoned both of them, so we are planning on screwing him financially. I have been dating my brother's ex-wife for the past three years. My brother married his ex-wife eight years ago. After she got pregnant, he didn't want the child and forced her to abort. She didn't want to, so he divorced her in just one year and gave up all his rights. He even accused her of cheating just to justify his insistence on divorce. My then sister-in-law was devastated. She was a single mother. My brother pays alimony and child support. We all were childhood friends and lived in the same neighborhood. I don't know what she saw in him that she married him so early. My brother is a poss, and he bullied me as well. He is a golden child, after all. Before they got into a relationship, she was my best friend. I, of course, supported my sister-in-law throughout her pregnancy and helped my nephew when I saw that she was struggling. So, three years ago, we started dating. Although we knew many wouldn't approve of our relationship, we did not hold back because we've grown to love each other. We've been together through ups and downs, and I honestly cannot see my life without her anymore. We never told any of our family members, and I moved in with her. We avoided telling anyone to avoid any problems. So a week ago, my brother came to his ex's place, and he was shocked to see me and asked me what I was doing here. We had no choice but to tell him the truth. He was very mad at me, and he hit me and screamed at me, how could I do this to him? After a bit of a fight, he said he came here to reconnect with his ex and become a part of his child's life. He didn't know that I was a scumbag enough to do this to him. My now girlfriend threatened him to leave, and she doesn't want anything to do with him. He screamed at both of us and called us lovely names at the end we both threatened to call cops if he doesn't leave so he finally left. Now all my family members, mom, dad grands are saying I shouldn't have had such a relationship with my brother's ex and I'm a scum, and, they are ashamed of me, I should break up with her so my brother can be with his wife and child and I'm an obstacle. I said to them that we were going to tell them soon and planning to get married this year or early in 25, and they called me names and threatened to cut contact and wouldn't attend the wedding. My girlfriend is saying not to mind them, that we will get married even if it's just two of us, and that I should report my brother for what I did. So my girlfriend came up with a devious plan that we will hold on to adopting and make him pay child support and another necessary fund, which is required in the future, and fight it for what she did to her and what he did to me. Update, yesterday, we sat down, called my family, and talked to clear things up. It was my girlfriend who talked to them and she said even if we both don't get married there is no chance that she will be with him or allow him to meet her kid no matter what, and it isn't up to him to decide for her what she can and she can't do. My family and brother all started convincing her to give my brother a chance to be a dad and husband. After a lot of yapping, my wife said no, she had already found another man, and there wasn't much he could do to stop her. Then my brother started threatening me cause he knew I was listening, I didn't even say much, he said I went too far and said nasty things, my wife cut him off and said never contact any of us. So now we have decided that we are going to file a complaint in the morning and move somewhere else near her parents or at her parents house. If I marry her, he won't need to pay alimony, but he will be required to pay child support unless I adopt him. So we decided to forget about money and go with marriage and adoption. We don't care about vengeance or money, we just want to live our life in peace and without any drama, and I'll never talk to my family or have any contact with them even if I or any of them die cause F them.